Hey everybody, welcome. It's Naomi, and today I want to lead you through a yoga practice that will give you a really strong awareness of your own ability to anchor and find your balance even in really challenging times. So this is a really great practice if you're going through a transition in your life. So it can be any kind of transition, you know, like a challenging relationship, you know, like changing jobs, changing seasons, right? Moving from one season to the next, you know, your kids getting older, you might be getting older, um, I mean, we all get older, <laughs> but this practice is really for when you are recognizing that things are changing and you're feeling a little bit knocked off of your axis and you need something to remind you of where your strength actually is and your strength is here, right? Your strength is deep within. So this is a practice to help you reconnect with your strength within and to remind you that even when you get knocked off of your axis, you can always find your way back to center and that it's in the finding your way back to center that actually you acknowledge your strength, right? Like falling over, getting knocked down, that happens, but can you reconnect in? So take a comfortable seat right where you are. Just rest your hands on your thighs and take a few moments to breathe. So just a few full breaths in and out. Take this time to really feel the support of your hips on the ground beneath you. And from that support, greater length and space up through your spine. And as you move on your mat today, remember this feeling. The ability to be supported. Be steady. Go ahead, open your eyes. Take your legs out. So they don't have to be really wide, just out in front of you, just a little bit. Lengthen up really long and tall through your spine. Bring your right hand to the right. Extend your left arm over your ear. Just stretch over to the right. Keep your left hip really heavy so that even as you're anchoring down, you're reaching out and you feel support. And then lower your left hand to the outside of your right leg, right fingertips behind you. Take a little twist. And then keep your left hand where it is. Just twist yourself back to center. Cross your right arm over your left. Bend both elbows and eagle your arms. Okay? Now keep the eagle in your arms. Just round back. Bend your knees. Draw them into center. Just turning to my side so you can see. And lift your feet up and curl in. Knees to elbows. Elbows to knees. And feel that wobbly sensation of going back and forward. Trying to find your balance. Staying really protected, really supported. And then release your legs, stretch them back out. Place your left hand down on the ground, outside of your left leg, right arm over your ear. Stretch through your side body. Take a full breath in. Full breath out, lower your right fingertips. Your right hand to the outside of your left leg, left fingertips behind you, take a little twist. And then keep your right hand where it is, twist your body back to center, cross your left arm over your right, bend your elbows, eagle your arms. Make an eagle a verb. <laughs> eagle your arms. <laughs> okay? And then once again, round back, bend your knees, draw your knees towards your chest, and tuck yourself up into a tiny little ball. Just curl in. And you're going to feel yourself move back and forth a little bit. That's okay. Totally fine. Release your arms and come onto your hands and knees, come into table. So if you need a blanket underneath your knees for a little bit more support, make sure that you have a blanket. But place your hands as wide apart as your shoulders, your knees as wide as your hips. Okay, extend your left leg straight back behind you and cross your left leg over your right leg. Okay, now bend your left knee, tuck it behind your right knee and send your hips way back. Hips back towards your heels. You should feel a little bit of a stretch through your left shoulder. Just reach back. And then push back up, pivot on your right knee, extend your left leg out towards that short edge of your mat, 
left arm over your ear. Lengthen through the whole left side of your body. Your right arm here is what's stable. Your right arm, left leg. And as you reach out through your left arm, turn the right side of your chest up towards the sky. Okay, now change. Lift your left leg up. Can you stay balanced? Can you stay steady? Okay, we're going to make it a little bit more dynamic. Bend your left elbow towards your left knee, and then re-extend. Bend your left elbow towards your knee, re-extend. Bend your elbow towards your knee, re-extend. Elbow to knee, re-extend. And then one more time, elbow to knee. Keep your knee tucked in to send it forward into a lunge. Left arm up and twist. Okay, take a full breath in here. Full breath out. Even lift your right knee away from the floor and extend. Turn your belly and chest up. Okay, inhale fully. Exhale, lower your left hand down. Come on back to table. Okay, extend your right leg back behind you. Cross your right leg over your left. And then bend your right knee so you tuck it behind your left and shift your hips back. So it's like a little bit of child's pose. Little bit of evil pose, little bit of downward facing dog, all at the same time. And then push back up, pivot on your left knee, extend your right leg towards the back edge of your mat, or right arm over your ear. And make this left arm really stable, really strong as you extend out through your right side. Okay, now change it up a little bit. Lift your right leg up. Can you hang on? Can you withstand the change? Make it dynamic. Draw your elbow towards your knee and then re extend. Draw your knee to your elbow and re extend. Right elbow to knee, re extend. Right knee to elbow, re extend. And then one more time, knee to elbow. Keep your knee tucked in, just step it forward into a lunge and lift your right arm up for a twist. Okay, take a full breath in. Full breath out, even lift your left knee away from the floor. So every time you change something, can you hang on? Inhale fully. And exhale completely, lower your right fingertips down, step up, forward bend. And fold. Things will change. Can you hang on to the constant of you? Bring your hands to your hips. With strong legs, lengthen your spine. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Okay, feet hip width apart. Inhale to reach your arms up. Take a hold of your right forearm with your left hand. Stretch up and pull all the way over to the left. Stay really steady through your legs. Okay, inhale back up. Hold on to your left forearm. Go to the right. Inhale back up. Okay, reach up through all ten of your fingers. And as you exhale, fold forward, touch the ground. Okay, take a full breath in, full breath out, left leg back into a lunge. Okay, put left heel on the floor so your toes point away from your body and anchor into your left leg. And then walk your hands diagonally out away from your hips so your right knee stays bent, foot points forward. And it's really tempting to just walk as far away as you can, but instead, stay strong and steady in your foundation. Now keep pressing through your left leg, walk back in, straighten the right leg. Left arm up, triangle pose. Okay, now you can put your hand up on your shin, on a block, whatever feels most supportive. But give your legs a squeeze so that you trust in your legs enough to turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Okay, inhale fully. Exhale completely. Then sweep your left arm over your ear, bend your right knee, Squeeze your right leg against your arm. Again, press your arm into your leg. Use that support to turn your chest up. Good. And then lower your left hand down. Walk through center. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot up. Plant your right foot. Make it reliable. Walk your hands diagonally out away from your hips. And again, you only go as far as you can remember yourself. Okay? And then keep pressing into your right leg. Start to work your left leg straight. Okay? 
You can bring your left fingertips up to your shin. You can put it on a block or a water bottle if you have that handy. But with your right hand at your hip, squeeze your left leg towards your shin. Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Right arm up. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. And then take your right arm over your ear. Full breath in. Exhale, bend your left knee. You can always bring your forearm up to your thigh. You could even place your hand on your chest just to remind yourself, where is my strength? It's here. It's not outside of you. It's in you. And one more full breath in. Stay strong through your right leg as you lift yourself back up. Straighten your left leg and step your feet together. Okay, so... <clears throat> We're gonna do some one-legged squats. Just go with me on this, <laughs> okay? Stand on your left leg, bend your right knee, lift your heel up so your toes stay down. Okay, and then bend your left knee, straighten your leg. Bend your left knee, straighten your leg. Bend your left knee, straighten your leg. Now, if you wanna make it more interesting, lift your right foot up, bend your left knee, <laughs> straighten your leg. Bend your knee, and straighten. Bend your knee, and straighten your left leg. And then one more time. Bend your knee. Just hold. You know. And you might fall. You might lose your balance. You could even like wiggle your right leg around. See what happens. Just play. <laughs> and then straighten your left leg. And switch sides. Okay. So pop up onto your right or your left foot. So you're standing on your right leg. You have your heel lifted. Mostly so that you have a little bit of support in this um, leg that's not holding your weight, but enough to feel like your right leg is doing it. Bend your right knee, straighten. Bend your right knee, straighten. Bend your right knee, straighten. Now if you wanna add a little bit more challenge, lift your left foot up, bend your right leg, straighten. Bend your knee, straighten. Bend your right knee, straighten. One more time, bend your knee and just hold. You can do crazy things with your left foot if you want. Ah. <laughs> and then straighten your right leg. Okay, get my blanket out of the way. So we're going to take a little break from the balancing. Instead, coming up to the front of your mat. Place your feet hip width apart. Stand evenly on your two feet because now that your two feet are down, anchor into them. Remember that you are strong. You are planted. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, bend both knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. I didn't promise that the squatting wasn't gonna happen again. I just promised, you know, no single leg squats. Okay, <laughs> lift your left heel up, step your left leg back. Oh. Okay, now just bring your palms together in front of your chest so you don't have to worry about your arms. Bend your left knee like you're gonna tap your knee to the floor and sit back. Okay, sit back, so instead of being angled forward, you sit back, top of your pelvis back. Keep your hips low. Now start to push your left leg straight without messing with your front leg. And then reach your arms up, because that is worth celebrating. Okay, take a full breath in. Full breath out, left knee down. Straighten your right leg, curl your toes back towards your body, and try to keep your hips even. So instead of sinking over into your left hip, you keep your hips level. You drag your right heel up and back towards your hip. Full breath in. <sighs> full breath out. Okay, now re-bend your right knee. Lift your left knee up. Now you might need a block for this too, that's fine. But push off of your left foot. Right hand out in front of you. Left leg up, half moon. Okay, now squeeze your heels towards one another. So when your heels squeeze in, reminder, boom. You're strong. Even if you lose your balance, you can find yourself again. Keep your right leg really strong, left arm up. The more you squeeze your heels in, the more your chest will lift. Okay, take a full breath in here. As you exhale, lower your left fingertips down, and your left foot in line with your right foot. <sighs> and inhale fully. Exhale completely. Bend your knees, lower your hips. Utkatasana. Oh yeah, we're back right here. Arms out in front of you. Now lift your right heel up, a step, right leg back, palms to your chest. 
Okay, take your arms out of it for a sec. Now, bend your left knee just a little bit. So instead of being tilted forward, I'm just going to lift my shirt up, just my outer shirt, okay? Instead of being tilted forward, you can sit your weight back, put more power in your legs. And now keep your weight going back as you start to push your right leg fully straight. And then reach your arms up triumphantly. You've got this. Okay, inhale fully. Exhale, right knee down. Straighten your left leg. Curl your toes away from the floor. Okay, as you pull your heel up towards your hip, extend out through the ball of your foot. Okay, inhale here. Exhale. Try to keep your hips even. So instead of swinging your hips to the right, pull your right hip in. Get one more full breath in. As you exhale, bend your left knee. Right knee up. Push off of your right leg. So you're launching yourself forward. Left fingertips down. Right hand to your hip. Okay, now you might need a block or a water bottle underneath your left hand. That's fine. But give your heels a squeeze. And the more you pull your heels in, the more you transform and open up and trust again. Inhale fully. Oh. Exhale completely. And lower your right foot down, right fingertips down. Fold in. Then bring your hands to your hips. And with strong legs, come all the way up to stand. Okay. So now... We're going to play with transitions between two poses. So first we're going to do eagle pose, and that's where that one-legged squat comes in. So we're just going to do eagle pose first. So turning to face you so you can see a little better. Okay. Bend your right knee so you're squatting on your right leg. Lift your left leg up. Your right knee has to stay bent. Cross your left leg over your right, and you can either squeeze your left foot against your right shin or hook it behind. The hook, really unimportant. Okay. This pose wants to pull you over to the right. Stay steady in yourself. Left elbow underneath right elbow. Hello. Okay, take a few breaths. We're right here. Okay, if the arms feel crazy, palms together in front of your chest. That works too. Come on out. Holy moly, leg strength. Okay, second side. So bend your left knee deeply, like that squat. Lift your right leg up, cross it over. Squeeze your foot against your shin, or maybe wrap it behind. And notice, see when I wrap it behind, see how my body wants to twist? Things want to pull me off balance all the time. And sometimes they'll win, sometimes they'll succeed. But I've got this, so do you. Maybe find the hook, maybe not. Right elbow underneath left. Tuck in. Hold on. Even if you fall, hold on to you. See if you can change your gaze. So maybe instead of looking forward, look down. Look up. Come on out. Okay. Whew. Shake that baby out. Whoa. Okay, so now you're going to go from eagle pose into half moon. One is a really contracted, compacted pose, and the other is expansive. Both ask you to hold on, <laughs> right? Both are saying, hey, life is full of uncertainty, but can you be constant for you? Okay? So, coming up to the front of your mat. Bend your knees. Left heel up. Cross, left leg over right. Squeeze your foot against your shin or hook it. Left elbow underneath your right elbow or palms together in front of your chest. And take a full breath in here. Full breath out. Full breath in. Full breath out. Now, unwrap your left leg. Right fingertips down. Extend your left leg out. Right arm up. Unfold. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. 
another full breath in. You can stay here or bend your left knee. Reach for your left foot. And if that just sounds completely crazy, don't do it. Take your thigh back. Open it up. And very carefully, draw your knee back in. Put your foot down. Shake out your hips. Come back up to stand. Okay, second side. Bend both knees, right heel up. Cross your right leg over left. Squeeze your right foot against your shin or wrap it behind. Right elbow underneath left elbow. Our palms together. Your choice. Pull in, tuck in. And then unwrap your right leg. Hold on with your left. Left fingertips down, your left knee will bend. And then push out through both legs. Right leg out, right arm up. And you can stay right here in this expansive pose. Maybe balancing, maybe losing it, maybe hopping back in. You can also add a little bit of a back bend. Bend your right knee. Hold on to your foot. Stretch your thigh back. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Release your leg if you're holding on to it. Right fingertips down. Right foot down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Take your knees to the floor, child's pose. Hips back to your heels. Coming up to sit. Okay, grab a blanket if you need to sit on a blanket. I like to. Okay. <clears throat> Extend your left leg out. Lift your right leg up. Hold on to your foot and your knee. Give yourself a little rock. Back and forth. If you'd like, you can wrap your elbows around your knee, but only so long as you can keep your spine nice and long. Little rock back and forth. And then take your right foot, put it on the outside of your left knee. Wrap your left elbow on the outside of your right knee and take a little twist. And reconnect to the earth. That same feeling of support you had at the beginning. Inhale back to center, and then slide your right knee over your left. Sit up really long and tall. Keep that length as you fold forward. And you can grab a hold of your foot or keep your fingertips on the floor. Totally up to you. back up. Switch legs. Extend your right leg out. Left foot up. Just rock your leg back and forth. Remember you can hold on to your foot and your knee. You could also hook your elbows underneath your shin. Whatever feels best for you. Okay, and then place your left foot on the outside of your right knee. Wrap your right elbow around your left knee and take a little twist. Inhale back to center. Slide your left knee all the way over your right knee. 
really long through your spine. Come forward. And you can grab a hold of your foot or keep your fingertips on the floor. Keep pulling from your heel up towards your hip. Maintain a little bit more stability for your hamstrings as you fold in. back up and just take a moment comfortable cross-legged seat rest your hands on your thighs or in your lap close your eyes one hand on your heart one on your belly In this moment, remind yourself of how capable you are. Even in your most uncertain, unsteady, challenging moments, even when you're not sure of what lies ahead, how to proceed, you have the capacity to hold on. You have the capacity to anchor into your own well of strength. Acknowledge that deep reservoir of your own strength. And very gently release your hands to your knees. When you're ready, So I hope this has been a supportive and useful class for you. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Um, I hope that you use this practice when you are in need and when you feel like, <laughs> you know, everything wants to knock you over. And sometimes they do. Sometimes even the poses do. <laughs> but you have the ability to get back in, find yourself, and remember that you've got this. So have a wonderful day. I hope to see you on the mat again really soon. And as always, thank you for spending a little bit of a time with me here doing this really important work. I am so grateful. See you again soon.